Okay, you guys, so I am in the middle of packing and getting ready to move. It is a complete shit show over here. So I thought instead of doing the declutters the way that I have been doing, that I would do them in more of a vlog form. And then I'll see how you guys like that because this is my first declutter series. So I want to kind of see how you guys like them, if you like them more as a vlog or if you like them more as like a sit down talk through type of format. So today we're doing lipsticks. I have so many lipsticks and I don't really know how this is going to go, but we're just going to plow through as quickly as possible. There are a lot of products that I already know that are going. So those I'm going to toss aside and I'm just going to really look at the brand and look at the collection, whatever it is, and just make a decision. And it's going to be quick and it's going to be cutthroat because we don't have time right now. <laughs> and I'll just have to do like a more thorough declutter at another time. I just don't want to pack a bunch of stuff that I already know I don't want. So it's sort of, it's going to be a declutter, but it's like, just I'm eyeballing it. I'm not going to like sit here and swatch a bunch of stuff. I just, I have to get through it. For my bold lip, I like literally, I'm in workout clothes right now. So I decided to put the bold lip on because I, that's our thing for our declutters. But this one is a gloss. It's the Katie Cat collection. It's by CoverGirl and Katy Perry. And this shade, what is this shade? This shade is called Purple Paws. And this is what it looks like. Super pretty, not something that I would normally wear, but I literally have mascara on my eyes and that's it. And I actually think it looks kind of cute. But anyways, I am I have workout clothes on and they're purple, so it just matched, whatever. Anyway, so without further ado, if you would like to see me declutter my lipstick collection, then keep on watching. Literally, like, things have been pulled off shelves and, like, everything is just a mess right now because like I said I'm in the middle of moving but this here is full of lipsticks so I'm just gonna pull these drawers out and set them here okay so I pulled out the drawers and I'm literally gonna go one by one so first up I have these meat matte hues liquid lipsticks from the bomb I sort of feel like I've outgrown these so I think I'm going to get rid of them. I've had them a long time. This one is, I don't know if this is a liquid lipstick or a gloss. Can you even see what I'm doing? I have to see if this is a lipstick or a gloss. I'm not sure. I think it might be a gloss. This is from e.l.f. If it is, I may keep it. All of these are from Pure Cosmetics. I have a mixture of liquid lipsticks and glosses. I'm going to get rid of all of it. Except for this one, which is an, ag an agave lip oil. I'm going to keep this one. But these are all going to go. So that's going, staying. This one is another Meet Matte Hughes. These are all Pure Cosmetics going. These actually, these are the pure with JD Weighty 180. Um, I actually think I might keep these. I like those. These are all Rimmel Provocative Lips. These are supposed to be 16 hour. I think I'm going to keep these as well. Oh my gosh. These are all Milani liquid lipsticks and I had this whole collection. I edited it. It's the Amore Matte Lip Cream Collection. The last time I moved, I edited it, and this is what I kept, and I still haven't used them, so everything is going. And these are the metallic lip creams, and I'm, I think I'm going to get rid of these as well. So that is it. This is all we're keeping in this drawer. Okay, this drawer is pretty straightforward. These are the Color Reese Shine lipsticks. Oh, and by the way, that e.l.f. is a gloss, so I am keeping that. But these are the Color Reese Shine lip lipsticks from L'Oreal. I just got this collection, so I'm going to keep that for sure. And then the only other thing in this drawer are these Becca 
crystal lip toppers, and I love these, so I'm definitely keeping these too. The next drawer, this L'Oreal palette lip. I don't use lipsticks in these types of palettes ever, so I'm getting rid of this. I have a random lipstick from, I think this is from Clarins. Yeah, and I'm not really a fan, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Most of these, I have a couple of lipsticks from Maybelline. One is blue. I don't know why I have that. I'm going to keep these because I think these are the only Maybelline lipsticks I have. These are from Rimmel. No. Are these Rimmel? Yeah, these are Rimmel and Kate Moss. And these are all nude colors, so I'll keep those. This is the Rita Ora collab with Rimmel, and it's like a really bright red. This has never gotten used, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might put this in a giveaway. This is a red lipstick from Bite Beauty. I will keep this. I like Bite Beauty and I don't have a ton of stuff from them. This is another Bite Beauty and I will keep that. This is a double-ended lipstick from e.l.f. I just don't see myself using it only because I have so many lipsticks. I mean these colors are really pretty. I just don't see myself using it. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. These, the rest in here are all L'Oreal lipsticks. These are not my favorite formulas, if I'm being completely honest. Oh my god. This color raisin takes me back to high school. Oh no, it wasn't raisin. It was a rum raisin that I used to wear in high school. Rum raisin, that's right. I don't think I have that one. Anyway, these for this formula from L'Oreal isn't my favorite, so I'm, I feel like I'm not going to keep these, but it's really going to depend on what I have at the end, because I don't hate it, but I don't love it. This is an orange lipstick from e.l.f., and I love this color, so I'm going to keep that. I guess I'll keep these L'Oreal lipsticks for now, and then when I do another declutter, if I haven't used them by now... By then, then I will get rid of them. So this is what we're getting rid of, these. Next drawer. I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything in this drawer, actually. These are all Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic Lips. I just, I'm just not ready to get rid of these yet. And I don't think I've ever worn them, but I don't want to get rid of them yet. And these are the Makeup Forever... These are the Artist Liquid Mattes, and I definitely don't want to get rid of these. These were the Lippy Liquid Lipsticks. I did a whole video. These are from Butter London. This was part of that Pantone Ultraviolet Collection. I really like these, so I'm definitely going to keep them. And then these are, uh, what are they called? The Lush Lip Color Bombs from Becca. I actually like these a lot, so I'm going to keep these as well. Oh geez, next, next drawer, I'm keeping everything in here. This is the entire Flower Beauty lipstick collection. And I did an entire video on these. I love them. I'm definitely keeping them. And then lastly, I have the Aqualip, the Aqualip lip liners from Makeup Forever. This is an entire collection. So I'm definitely going to keep these for now. I dropped one. All right, so this is all the stuff that we're getting rid of so far, and I actually changed my mind about these pure ones and also the e.l.f. one. I'm sticking this in the things I'm getting rid of pile, and I'm just going to slide that down here for now. Okay, so this is the next sort of organizer I have lip products in. I'm going to just take them apart starting at the top because they all come apart. These are all my MAC lipsticks, which I'm keeping all of. This is just like a little spray glitter thing. It sprays glitter. It's kind of cute. I'm going to keep that. These are all nude lip liners that are staying. These are, what is this? These are just like random things. I have some cortisone cream and what is this? This is like an eye, an eye thing, but it's like, I think almost dried up. So that's going to go. 
This is an eye balm. This is a lip pencil that I used to use all the time. It like protects your lips from your lipstick. But it's almost gone, so I'm going to toss that. These two things I'm going to keep. These are all Makeup Forever lipsticks. I did an entire video on these, I think, a long time ago, but they're so pretty. I'm definitely keeping these. So all this stuff stays in this goes okay for this next top drawer here we have some of these stila stay all day liquid lipsticks <laughs> some people love these i despise them i think they flake and peel off my lips i don't know if they have redone this formula but when i got these which was a very long time ago they sucked i don't know why i kept them the colors are beautiful but i didn't like the formula these are the NYX Liquid Suede Lip mm, Cream Lipsticks. I am going to get rid of these because I never reach for them. Okay, these are Buxom Glosses. I used to be obsessed with Buxom Glosses, um, and then gloss kind of went out. But I'm definitely keeping these because I love their formula. And then I have a bunch of minis, I think, that came in like a holiday collection. And I'm keeping all of these as well. Next, we have a drawer full of NYX. They are a combination of the butter glosses, which I have all the shades, and then some soft matte lip creams. I actually think I'm going to get rid of all of these because I've had them literally forever and I never, ever use them. I never reach for them anymore. I used to, but I just have so many lip products, so I'm going to just put them in the get rid of them. And then finally, we have all of the Urban Decay lip glosses that I just did a video on. These are the Hi-Fi Shine lip glosses. I love these. I'm definitely keeping them. Okay, so this is a part of my Urban Decay Vice lipstick collection. I collect Urban Decay lipsticks because they are one of my favorite favorite formulas. So this is some of my collection. Um, I have the Gwen Stefani ones and then I just have like the regular ones. This is all the new formula with the new packaging. I got rid of all of the old ones already. So I'm going to keep all of these. Okay, next we have some random stuff. Um, these are lipsticks from Koki Cosmetics. I actually really like this shade here, so I think it's called High T, so I'm going to keep that one. This, these are matte lipsticks. This is a very deep shade that I wouldn't normally go for, so I think I'm going to pass on that one. And then I have a Lorac lipstick that I've literally had since I started my YouTube channel. This is Girl Next Door. I used to wear this all of the time. But, I think it's time to retire. Oh, it's so pretty though. Like, it's, it was one of my favorites, but I feel like it's time to go. And then this is a Bite Beauty lip gloss that I just never use because it's such a bright color. And, I don't know. You guys know that's not really my thing. This is an old Tarte lip pencil. I'm getting rid of that. And this is a Bright Bite Beauty lipstick that kind of corresponds with that lip gloss. And uh, I like Bite Beauty, so I kind of want to keep this. I don't have a ton of their products, so I think I will keep this one. Okay, next I have some random lipstick pencils. I've got this one from Revlon. I'm gonna get rid of that. I've got this one from Chusunga 22. I think this was at Sephora for a little while, but um, I think they're a Korean brand. This is just a color I'll never reach for, and if I do, it probably will be a formula I love. So I'm going to pass on that for now. This is a lip primer from NYX. I like lip primers, so I think I'll keep this for now. This is from Ulta. This is a red lipstick. It's an orange-based, so no. These are all from NARS. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's tiny. 
And uh, this one here, which is kind of small, I think I used it for a while, but it's uh, glossy, so I don't see myself using it. Yeah, same with this one. This I know I like, but again, it's like one of those really bright shades, but it's super pretty, so I think I'm gonna keep this one. And then this red color is actually really nice too, so I think I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, this drawer is a bunch of random stuff too. This is a brand called Be Hue. I got these a long time ago. This one isn't even opened. It'll go in a good way. This will go in a good way. These were all open, and I remember liking the formula, but, ooh, that color is pretty amazing. All right, so I'm gonna keep that color. All right, my camera shut off because my card was full. So we're back. All right, this is all, I think, pretty much color pop except for these, which are pure. And so we're getting rid of those because they're old. This is all ColourPop. To be honest, I really don't reach for it, but I don't necessarily want to get rid of it yet. So I am going to keep those. And then these, are these Ultra? I hate that the packaging rubbed off of all these because it's hard for me to remember the formula. This one is Beeper. I remember liking that one. I really don't reach for these that much anymore, so I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to get rid of these. I'm definitely not getting rid of Aquarius. I'm going to get rid of Boa and Shebad because they're matte and I don't like them. They're like matte X. No. And then these are glossy, um, skimpy and bound. Yeah. So I'll keep those three. I'll keep Beeper. I don't know about the others yet, so I'm gonna have to go through these to decide which ones I like and which ones I don't. So I'll keep them for now. Okay, in this little drawer, I have the new Pixie um, liquid lipsticks, the All Natural Matte Lust liquid lipsticks. I, oh no, All Natural is the name of the color. It's the, <laughs> These are the Matte Last liquid lipsticks. I have five shades of these. They are all nude colors. I love them. They stay. This one is a Bite Beauty. What is this? Let's see, Claire. This is a gloss, I think. Yeah, it, or it's like a lipstick that's liquid, but not a liquid lipstick. And I like Bite Beauty, so I'm keeping that. And this last one, I have these Marc Jacobs, what are they called again? L the Le Marc Liquid Lip Crayon. I have two shades. I did a video on these. I'm going to keep those. This is a lip oil from CoverGirl. I really don't love this formula, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is an old school Jouer lipstick. I've had it literally forever, like before Jouer was even known by anybody. So it's really old. I'm going to get rid of it. In this drawer, this is almost all nude lipsticks. Like I just kept all of my nudes separate or a lot of my nudes separate. So we're going to go through these. I'm probably not going to get rid of much in here, if I'm being honest, because nudes are my thing. This is a Maybelline. This one I'll get rid of. This is Chisunga 22 brand. I never use that. This is a Marc Jacobs. I'm keeping. These are Kat Von D. The only two that I have, so I'm going to keep those. These are... Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Lips. I didn't really like these, so I think I'm going to get rid of these. This is another Maybelline lipstick. These are all Bare Minerals. Um, these are the... What are they even called? I don't know. They're 
a mix of gloss and mattes, but they're all nude, so I'm going to keep them. Okay, so I have a bunch of the Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks in nudes, all different nude shades, and I'm definitely keeping these. These are from Girlactic. They are matte lip paints. Oh, there's a lip paint and a satin gloss. I'm going to keep those, I think. Am I keeping those? I don't know. Actually, I think I'm actually not going to keep these. And this is a Too Faced lipstick in Naked Dolly. It's like a total sheer nude. But I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. These are BH Cosmetic liquid lipsticks. I think I'm going to get rid of. MAC. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one too. Actually, I'm going to put this in the Disappointing Products pile. This Violet Voss liquid lipstick I never reach for. This one is Juice, Be Juice Beauty Lip Gloss. I don't, I have two of these and I don't really reach for these either. So I'm going to get rid of these as well. I have two Lorac Pro matte lip colors in this pen form. I don't use these ever and I've had them a while. And then I have these Buxom lipsticks and they're also in that like pen form. They're pretty, but like I just don't reach for them, so I think I'm going to just get rid of these. Cutthroat. And then these are some Bare Minerals lipsticks. I haven't reached for these in a while, but I feel like I want to revisit them, so I am going to keep those. This is a dual-ended Tarte Lip Sculptor. It's a gloss and a lipstick. And this is the shade. This kind of reminds me of that Lorac shade that I got rid of. It does. It's just like it. I'm going to keep this one. And this is their Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Chihuahua. And I don't think I like this, but I don't know. So I need to like revisit this and find out. I hope you guys can see because it's really hard for me to see in the viewfinder. So I'm hoping you guys can see. But I'm going to keep all of this stuff and I'm going to get rid of all that. Look at that. Can you guys believe it? Are you so proud of me? Okay, you guys. So I do have some lipsticks stashed in other places. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I mean. So over here on my vanity, which is an absolute disaster. Please don't judge. I'm packing. I usually keep lipsticks here that I'm testing out or trying or that are a favorite and they're just in rotation. And then over here I keep lipsticks that I am trying and testing out as well. So like right now I've been testing out these CoverGirl liquid lipsticks and um, I have some Urban Decay ones that I wanted to try the shade. So those are all staying. And then here I have some of my favorite like nude products. This I was actually testing out but I'm gonna get rid of that. These Butter London glosses are awesome, so I'm keeping those. Everything else in here I'm pretty much keeping, except for this. And then over here, there are, I have in this little drawer thing, this came in like a PR package and I just decided to use it. Um, these are the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks from L'Oreal. I did not like this formula, so I am going to pass on these. These are the Pro Matte Glosses. I feel like I have enough gloss, so I'm going to get rid of those. Those are ColourPop eyeshadows. Oh, and then in here, I have all the Infallible Lip Paints, which I love. I love all of these, so I'm going to keep this entire range because I love it. So, but these... Oh, there's a rogue one. So these guys I'm keeping. <laughs> Put over here. And then these guys I'm getting rid of. So I just wanted to show you guys the two piles of stuff I'm keeping. This is like a mishmash of lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, liners, and glosses. But I think I did really, really good. I mean, considering you guys know that I'm not great at decluttering, I did really good there. And then here, I wanted to kind of show you how I divided everything up that I am keeping. I've been packing as I've been going. And in this box is all of the liquid lipsticks that I ended up keeping. In this box is all of the glosses that I kept. 
And in this box, it's all lipsticks that I kept. And in addition, upon further review, I actually pulled all these out of the gloss bin because like these artist acrylic lips, they're very similar to the L'Oreal ones and I like that formula better. And then these buxom ones, I felt like I only have three big ones and they're almost gone. So I have plenty of lip glosses. I don't need them. And then I pulled out some of the colors that I just feel like I have like the Urban Decay ones in these colors and I just, I don't need that many deep purples because I'm not gonna wear them. So these are all going in the get rid of pile. Okay you guys, I finally got through it. I hope that you guys were able to see. I hope the lighting was okay. It's gonna suck if I go and look at that footage and you guys can't see anything. Um, I did not include anything that is new that has come in, like the entire CoverGirl collection. I wanted to actually dedicate a video to it I don't know if I'm going to be able to, if I'll have time, but I do have those back there separate. I do have some of the Revlon um, lip plumping creams that are new. These, I have this whole collection out still. Um, so it wasn't every single lip product I have, but it's the collection that's stored and stashed and that needed to be decluttered. So... I think I did pretty good. I'm actually really proud of myself. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about vlog style. Obviously, this is a lot more chaotic than I will be in the future, only because I'm moving, so things are just so crazy, and it isn't as pretty and as, like, organized as I would like it to be. But my new beauty room will be, and I'm excited to get over there and, and get everything situated and organized. And once I'm settled there, I will give you guys like a tour of my makeup collection and a tour of the beauty space if you guys want it. Um, so look out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.